Now, in order to publish the app, we are able to upload the executable file by clicking on this Upload to App Store. Make sure you select the, your Tic-Tac-Toe Apple TV or your app name here, and now click on Upload to App Store. Now, select your account. If you don't see it, you can always click on View Account, Choose, and then uh, it's connecting to iTunes Connect and looking at the information. And there we go, it found the app, and click on Upload. Now, depending on your app size and your connection, this might take a while, and usually um, the, uh, it says upload, but it's not just upload. It's actually going through the validation process, and then it's uploading. So while it's doing the uh, upload, I want to tell you more about what other things you can do here. Um, on this screen, you also have the export button here. You guys see that? So you would use this whenever you want to export your app. Uh, you don't want to publish your app to the App Store first. Let's say sometimes you just want to have your app on some phones, so you would use that if you want to publish it on a specific phone. Let's say you're a, you're a restaurant company um, and you have, um, you have an app to, to, to take orders from the menu, okay? So uh, you don't want this app to be in the App Store, right? You don't want anybody to take your app and start ordering from the menu uh, from their home. You want that to only be inside of stores, so that's what you would use. You would use the export to do ad hoc. All right, now we have an upload successful, and what you have to do now is usually wait um, 10 to 15 minutes at least for your app to end up in iTunes Connect. So click on Done. You can close this archiving panel, and you can also close Xcode at this point. We are done with this. All right, I'll see you guys in the next lecture.